What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for Wizarding World stuff? It feels like a long time since I've asked that. Yes, that's right. It has been quite some time since we've done a Wizarding World unboxing. Yes. And First of all, what is the Wizarding World box? The Wizarding World box is powered by the Wizarding World and Universal Studios Orlando, Florida, and the Wizarding World. And it's basically a every other month box that is filled with Harry Potter and the Wizarding World goodies. Thanks to COVID, they have been behind a lot. So they have been irritating me a lot. And I'm already behind four boxes, oh, and, but they are not ouch. behind on charging me. I'll take your money. Yeah, that's the thing that bugs me the most. Yeah, Look, I understand that there's shipping <laughs> issues, supply issues and everything. I get all of that, but guys, maybe don't charge someone until you're ready to ship that box out. Exactly. I got this one a couple of months ago. We've just been super behind. So this is a little while ago box. So they have been behind quite a few months. Hey, they're making us wait. We're going to make them exactly. wait. Exactly. All right. Now, I will say I am very annoyed with this whole box thing. So this box will maybe be the determination if I keep going with it after this. So. Fair enough. Hey, very so. fair. What is the theme for this the one? The theme is Professor's Lounge. Get into the classroom and celebrate Hogwarts professors past and present in this Wizarding World crate. And... It's a big box. Well, the first thing we have in here is like some kind of um, toiletry bag. So we've got this cauldron on the front of it that says Hogwarts and it's got the crest on it. And it's kind of a canvas with some faux leather um, corner protectors on it. And then the inside is super fun because it's all like, looks like the inside of a cauldron. Nice, that's kind of clever. So, and yeah. hey, I mean, as a Slytherin, that green and black, I'm liking that. So, okay, um, I will say this. I feel like something that they've done a lot of have been bags. So yeah. at this point, uh, unless you're like pulling around a baggage cart, <laughs> like what you would see at Harry Potter, <laughs> don't quite know what you would do with all the bags they offer. Oh, I can come up with something. I'm a bag lady. Bag lady. She gets on the bus and off the bus and 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 then she tries to drive the bus. It might be crazy. Don't even ask. I have no idea what the pins even were. You don't know what the pins are going to be? Well, the last couple of ones have been buildings. So... Ages ago. Ages and ages ago. So let's see if this is a building. It is! It is Hogwarts itself. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. So they've been going for this kind of like cartoony, pastel -y colors. I mean, it took them long enough to actually give you Hogwarts itself. You know, all the other buildings. I get that. You would think they would start off with this one. Maybe. Hey, now you got it. <laughs> we got a spider comb. Just a very generic little spider comb. Yeah. Um, it says Wizarding World on the back, and on the front, you've got a bunch of black, like, puffy circles to make eyeballs. The box art was cuter. There, <laughs> I'll give them a point for creativity, but the problem is this really feels like something that uh, you would do at, like, a craft thing or mm -hmm. something. You know, if not at a convention at school around Halloween time. Uh, hey, don't comb the desert with a comb this So is that supposed small. to be like a beard comb since it's a professor's lounge and it's a small comb? How's that working out? It's not too bad. Yeah. Um, you should know that kind of mustache is a very costly facial accessory. <laughs> Guess what else we got, hey, folks? It wouldn't be a Wizarding World Actually, box. Actually, not just Wizarding World. It wouldn't be a mystery crate box without a notebook and writing utensil. <laughs> so this one is kind of a flexible, hard cardboard cover. It's, it's kind of faux leather look to it, even though it's just cardboard. And then a badger on the front for Hufflepuff. And then the inside you have like a paisley yellow 
inside is Gilderoy Lockhart's crest, and it's every page is signed by Gilderoy Lockhart. Yeah, by him, by Harry, you mean. Can you possibly imagine a better way to serve detention than by helping me to answer my fan mail? Not really. And then we have a gold pin that has Gilderoy Lockhart's signature on it. Was he in Hufflepuff? I don't remember if he was a Hufflepuff or not. Future Tom, could you verify that right here, please? Huh. There you go. An excellent idea to show them that, but if you don't mind me saying, it was pretty obvious. It writes blue. The and pin is blue. The pin is blue. The pen is blue. All right, so here's what made the box so big. We have a big box here. Okay, I actually like this. This is this is pretty cool. So you've got, you know, just your typical teacup. And it is a good, like, thick, heavy, substantial porcelain. But it's like Harry's teacup with the grim inside. Nice. So that is pretty cool. And then uh, down here it says, My dear, you have the grim. Hopefully it is a good um, a good seal on here. I've had a few coffee cups where you think the writing is sealed, but then you wash it and it starts to come off. And I really don't want that to come off. Yeah, because especially with inside the cup, I mean, that yeah. looks like something that you'd start scrubbing, try to get clean, and then you'd realize, oh, wait, no, wait, this is the, the grim one. I like this. This is actually good. I mean, it's, feel it, it's a good substantial hefty porcelain it's not you know some kind of cheap porcelain okay this this is nice this is a good one this is a very clever one uh practical it, it's practical it's clever it comes directly from the movie you know it's very iconic i will say also with the theme being lounge i would see this in a lounge there you go i could see a notebook or a comb but a toiletry bag in a lounge i mean that's more of your bathroom or something i don't know or the bedroom and then there's one more thing in here. We have a shirt. It looks like we have a cute kind of chibi art of Professor McGonagall with Ron, Harry, and Hermione in the background. And then you've got the multiple houses on it. And of course, they are a little bit more grayed out, but my house is colored in. Okay. So that kind of definitely is cool because it indicates you of what your house is and they're kind of falling out of the sorting hat. This is a neat shirt. Yes. This is a very neat shirt. It's very cutesy, and I do like that. I like the art style. I like how it looks. Um, I think it's a clever idea to have the houses falling out of the hat, and then her house, which, you know, the box is themed to Hufflepuff because she's a Hufflepuff. I like that idea in theory, but I don't like how everything else about this is very Gryffindor. So then having that Hufflepuff icon. I agree. And, and it would be the same if it were the Slytherin or Ravenclaw icon. It's it's kind of weird in that regard. I agree. I mean, I think they went with McGonagall because she was she's the one who does the sorting hat thing. But, you know, like kind of what you said, it's very, everybody in here is Gryffindor except for the color of my house. So maybe pick a prominent your house professor yeah you know that, and that maybe some prominent neat. students from that house or don't you know i mean i realize that ron harry and hermione are the three main characters and they all happen to be in gryffindor how convenient is that wow but you know maybe mix it up maybe put a slytherin and a hufflepuff and a you know pick one person from each house or something something the boxes usually do is theme out the inside the inside of this box is just candles so these are the candles from the hall not really the like the lounge. I, I guess if you're gonna lounge anywhere, you mm -hmm. might as well do it in the Great Hall where all the food is. That's a good point. Okay, <laughs> so quick recap: shirt you like? I do like the shirt. I like the tea set. I like. You like notebook? Notebook is I'm indifferent to the notebook because it's kind of like you said. I have so many notebooks and I've never used any of them. The comb? The comb is no. The comb is a definite no for me. It's a cute idea, but. If I didn't have the spider comb box, I would not have known what that was supposed to be. The pen, I mean, you like it just because it's just the, pen. the pen. Pins are it usable. It keeps the yeah. building theme going. Yeah. 
And then the toiletry bag? Toiletry bag I find useful because I do, I am a bag person. I love bags for some reason, even the ones I don't have any use for. So I do like the bag. And I actually like the way it's kind of plain Jane on the outside, very subdued, but then you get that inside and you're like, whoa. So I really like it. All right. Two last questions for mm -hmm. you. First of all, if this were the first box you had got, would you continue with the service if this were your introduction to it? That's a tough call because if it were my first box, there are some things I'm disappointed in, but then this would have really got me interested. Been like, oh, well, if this is the kind of stuff they put in there, this is what they spent their money on. The rest of it is kind of ancillary things. So yes, I actually, I would say yes, I would keep going. Okay. Because this would make me think there's gonna be cool movie props in every box. There you go. See, when you put the cool item in there like that, now, as a longtime subscriber to this box, where do you stand? That's, that one is, uh, I've had worse boxes. Oh. Ah, yes, well, I, that can sometimes happen. Um, I will probably see what, how long it takes for them to ship the next ones. Probably won't cancel just yet. Uh, maybe if there's one more billing cycle, so that would make five, then I would, Probably, and I hadn't gotten any. I, I feel like at yes. that point, maybe you need to send an email saying, Hey, <laughs> until you send me a box, stop taking my money. Exactly. Very well. Uh, I'll just be in my office getting, um, getting ready. Nerdlings, at this point, we invite you to leave some comments down below on any of the items from the box here. <laughs> the ones that you could have done at home by yourself, like the comb, the pen and pencil or pen and paper, because <laughs> why not? Let's have all of those. But the cool tea set, the cutesy shirt, mm -hmm. let us know what you think of any of these, what you think of the box as a whole. If you think Lady Lacey's a little crazy for letting them continue to take her money without sending her boxes. I am a Harry Potter sucker, what can I say? <laughs> but hey, when you're a fan, you're a fan. <laughs> I can honestly say if this were any other box but a Harry Potter box, the answer would be no. Ooh, how I will deep say does that. your fandom exactly. go? All right, so leave those comments down below. Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell just to see if you ever see another Wizarding World unboxing again on this channel. Or if there's a company you know that actually gives you the boxes when you're supposed to, <laughs> hey! and it might have a fandom I enjoy, let me know. <laughs> All right, nerdlings, don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there and they don't get four or five months behind. And if we like it, nerdlings. We nerd it. Yeah. Even if it's from a dirty teacup. You guys can have the dirty one. You know, if you would just keep your tea leavings in a bag, you wouldn't have to worry about tea that. Tea leavings? Gross. That's what that is. Gross. That's why we don't drink tea. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. <laughs> Ta-da!